You know, whenever your doctor orders an x-ray or an MRI, there's this incredible invisible system working behind the scenes. It's kind of like a digital brain that manages every single scan you've ever had. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on that system, the Radiology Information System, or RIS for short. Yeah, on the surface, it seems pretty simple, right? You get an order, you show up for your scan, you go home. But behind the scenes, it is a whirlwind of data. The RIS is the choreographer of this whole dance, making sure your information, your images, and your results all move in perfect sync. Okay, so picture a crazy busy airport. The RIS is basically the air traffic control tower for the entire radiology department. It's coordinating every single flight, that's every imaging study, and guiding every passenger, that's your patient data, to its destination, safely and on time. It's a fantastic analogy. And it's not just the control tower. You can also think of it as the department's central nervous system. It is the absolute backbone that connects everybody and everything, from the person at the front desk, to the technologist running the scanner, all the way to the radiologist who's reading your images. So, how does this all play out in the real world? What does it actually look like? Well, let's follow a single imaging order from the very beginning to the very end and see this RIS in action. So from the moment your appointment gets booked to the second that bill gets sent out, the RIS is managing what is essentially a four-act play. You've got scheduling, the scan itself, the report, and finally, billing. Let's break down each act. Your journey kicks off right at check-in. As you're giving them your information, the RSI is already humming away in the background. It's juggling schedules, preventing any double bookings, and making sure the right scanner is free just for you. Oh, and that text reminder you got for your appointment? Yep, you can thank the RSI for that too. Now for the scan. This is where things get really cool and, honestly, a lot safer. The technologist doesn't have to sit there and manually type in all your info. Instead, they just pull up something called a modality work list from the wrists. They click on your name and boom, all your data just populates automatically. This one little step is a total game changer for patient safety because it pretty much eliminates the risk of typos. And while you're getting your scan, the RIS is keeping a live log of absolutely everything. Staff can see your status in real time, you know, arrived, in exam, completed. It's also capturing really important quality data, like who performed the exam and even, in some cases, the exact radiation dose. Okay, once your images are ready, they get zipped over to a radiologist. For them, the RIS is their command center. They can view your images, dictate their findings, often using voice recognition, and even use templates to create a really clear, consistent report. And once they electronically sign off on it, the RIS sends that report straight to your doctor. And the final stop on your digital journey is, you guessed it, billing. Because the RIS has been tracking this whole process from the start, it knows exactly which billing codes apply. This makes sure the hospital can generate accurate invoices and insurance claims without a hitch. Now, the RIS is the master of its own universe in the radiology department, for sure. But it's not a solo act. Its real power comes from its ability to talk to all the other computer systems in the hospital. That's how it builds a truly connected health network. So for all these different systems to work together, they have to speak the same language. Or, in this case, they actually need to speak two different languages. The first one, HL7, is for all the text-based stuff about you. Your name, your doctor's order, the final report, the other one, DICOM, is the language just for the images themselves. So here's how that whole dance comes together. Your doctor places an order in the hospital's main system, which sends an HL7 message to the RIS. The RIS then schedules your appointment. At the scanner, the tech uses a DICOM query to pull up your info. After your scan, your images are stored, and the radiologist writes a report back in the RIS. Finally, that report is sent back to your doctor system as another HL7 message. It's a completely digital, totally paperless loop. So what keeps these different systems speaking different languages from just talking past each other? Well, that's where something called an interface engine comes in. Just think of it like a universal translator, making sure every single message is understood, no matter which system it's coming from. So why does any of this matter to you? Well, all this technology isn't just cool for the sake of being cool. It has a real tangible impact on your care. It means you get your results faster, your information is way more secure, and the whole process is just a lot smarter. The goal, as our source material puts it so perfectly, is to create a single seamless pipeline. That means taking all those separate steps, ordering, scheduling, scanning, reporting, and turning them into one smooth automated process. And here's where you can really see the difference, speed. 
An integrated IRI dramatically, and I mean dramatically, reduces the time it takes for your doctor to get your results. By cutting out all the manual steps and delays, it gets that vital information to your care team faster than ever before. But what about safety? This is maybe even more important. When you automate the flow of information like this, you just about eliminate the risk of human error. No more typos, no more patient mismatches. Your images are always linked to your file, ensuring an incredibly high level of data accuracy. The RIS also creates this fantastic digital paper trail. Every single action, from a tiny edit to a report to someone just viewing your file, is logged. This provides a crucial layer of accountability and helps hospitals meet really strict privacy standards, like HIPAA, now, a system this powerful and this complex, well, it doesn't just run on its own. It needs a dedicated team of experts to keep it healthy, secure, and running smoothly. So let's meet the gatekeepers, the PACs and RIS administrators. These are the IT wizards working behind the scenes making sure these incredibly important systems are up and running day in and day out. And their job is a massive balancing act of cybersecurity, system maintenance, and customer support. They are responsible for literally everything from data encryption and backups to constantly monitoring that flow of information between systems. And on top of all that, they manage who gets access and provide training to the hospital staff. Which, yeah, brings us full circle. As our source material says so well, the RIS is the central hub of any imaging department. It is so much more than just software. It's the command center that truly makes modern medical imaging possible. The RIS has completely revolutionized medical imaging, but the story is far from over. With the rise of AI, new imaging tech, I mean, healthcare data is only going to get more and more complex, which really makes you wonder, what is the next job for this digital brain?